Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is KSP Hardcore Pawn. Welcome back. We have gone to and returned from Minmus, and look at this. We got 775 science to spend. We're back up to 181,000 after upgrading the R&D. We now have a tier 2, tier 1, it's facility level something. We have a next-gen level R&D center. Oh. Now, I've been picking up little contracts here and there just because I went, ooh, that looks fun. Position satellite around the moon, around Kerbin, and around Mimis. Those have all got to be new satellites, and I'd like to do them all in the course of one mission. In the course of one mission in which we also plant a flag on the moon. In which we also perform temperature scans of the moon. In which we also position satellite in a specific orbit of the moon. We've already got one of those, but we'll, we'll have two of them. And for my final trick, ladies and gentlemen, we will actually be rescuing Natata Kerman from orbit of Kerbin in the process. This is gonna be... this is gonna be really... good or really bad. One of those two things is gonna be. So what's the plan? Plan is we go up to orbit with a probe-controlled ship. It's got extra little probes on it for satellites that we're gonna be dropping here and there. We pick up that stranded Kerman. She's gonna be the one to plant the flag on the moon when she gets there. I hope she brought flags. I hope she brought flag. Then we do some thermometer readings, collect a bunch of science data, throw some moon rocks in the hull, and, you know, pick up eggs on the way back. First thing is I want that ant engine. That ant engine. I love that ant engine. It does so much good for us. I want the one and a quarter meter fairings. I'm going to pick up aerodynamics. Uh, again, screw aviation. Don't, don't, don't need plane parts. Advanced electrics for more solar panels and batteries. Docking ports and radial reaction wheels sound fun. Flight control, so I can avoid aviation a little bit longer. An advanced flight control for RCS and the lander can. So I haven't spent it all, we still got 210 science, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to need on this build. Bear in mind, I still have not upgraded the VAB, so whatever I'm gonna do has to be under 30 parts. Ah, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna have space exploration as well, cause then we get the barometer, and that's gonna be new contracts for us, probably, I think. Okay, people, in designing the little probe, uh, Kerbal Engineer is not recognizing this as a source of fuel, and I'm just wondering if I really do have to attach fuel piping to a radially connected tank, or if that's just, that's just an error. So, in three, two, one, uh, yeah, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. So the fuel in here is not getting transferred to anywhere. That's brilliant. Oh, but that's nice. That is nice, I do like that. And hey, while we're out here finding out that our plans suck, uh, probe report? Probe report from the launch pad, the telemetry indicates that all, yeah, we know, but hey, it's worth point two. like I need point two. I'm swimming in science over here. You think I need your point two? Take your point two and stick it up your... Requiring me to attach fuel lines for a radially mounted... <sighs>
Is there something in R&D that can make me make this work? For the love of God. Okay, KSP, I know when I'm bested. I know when I'm, I'm screwed. I back myself into a corner here. If I wouldn't have spent money on whatever it was I bought last, we'd have enough science to buy heavier rocketry, and then maybe with the cryo XXXXXL fuel tank, we could actually build this rocket, but I didn't. And also, I don't have enough money to upgrade the VAB so that I don't have to be uh, laboring under this 30 parts count limitation. And all this adds up to the fact that I can't launch the satellite at the same time that I, I, I can't do it comfortably. I just, I, I'm not confident. So, I, I know when to quit, all right? My magic tricks will have to wait for another day. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. Apparently, the poodle has a much better ISP than the swivel, because even though it's higher weight, I'm getting more delta V out of that's okay. Hey, my ship doesn't look like, you know, it was made by a three-year-old playing with Lego anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, our first atmospheric pressure scan is in from the launch pad. Mission Control tracks the readings against the local weather report to calibrate the barometer for 2.2 science. Wow, I'm glad that we picked that up. Um, don't forget to reset it, Pawn, like you did with the thermometer all last mission. Came back with 700 and some science, could have been 800, probably. That and the crew reports around Mimnus here but didn't bother. Let's, let's not focus on the failures of past. Okay, this is our most expensive craft that we have ever placed on the pad, I'm pretty sure, at 36,000 Kerbins. So, this mission has to go well. Plan is, we pick up a pilot in orbit, okay? There's nobody flying this ship, it's gonna be probe controlled once we get up there. We pick up the stranded so-and-so Kerbin and, and pop her in there, and then she's gonna be the first one to land on the moon, because she's so capable that she got herself stranded in, in orbit. Maybe this is a bad idea. Hey, Pawn, I was just looking at the dossier on Natata Kerman, who you're gonna be picking up from orbit. Yeah? What does it say? Well, it says she had very high GPA. Oh, good. In fact, she's got a master's. Ah, excellent. Top of her class, graduated magna cum laude. Oh, thank God. In elementary school teaching. Uh, oh. What's it say about her pilot qualifications? All it says here is driver's license revoked. Do not allow to operate heavy machinery. You know what, it, 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 it's, we'll, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. I've got a probe here, she, she doesn't have to be good. Lift off to learning in three, two, one, fire. Okay, what, what's wrong with the thrust to weight ratio? I checked this before we did this, okay, um, please go up, please go up, please go, oh god, if I stop it now, it's probably gonna turn out worse than if I don't stop. Okay, this is gonna be the most expensive thing we've ever, let's just, da, 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 and, Success! I did not destroy the launch pad, which was my goal. Okay, so that was a $36,000 error. That's, let's not have too many more of those. Uh, I think the error was, I didn't look at the atmospheric thrust to weight ratio on the skipper at the surface of curve. So yeah, it's not, hmm. Okay, just fix, fix, pawn, fix it. Okay, got it now. Oh, oh geez, okay. It's a little wobbly. It's a little bit... I heard some science come in. Atmospheric pressure scale. We've already done this. Why? Oh, because maybe it blew up a little bit last time. Right. Houston, another countdown. In three, two... Are you sure you want... Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good now. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You've only got one launch clamp. No, no, it'll be fine. We're just... We're leaning in the direction we want to go anyway. So I'm sure it's going to work out. I think I have to actually report this to a few agencies before we lift... Uh, Houston, just do it. In three, two, one... Fire. Okay, that's more what we like to see. Going up. Five, four, oh, probe report. Sure, we'll take one while we're flying at Kerbin. Temperature scan, well, flying over the water. The temperature is averagey here. Good, great. Material study, no. Saving it for the moon. And 
Zap Waps is in space. Wow, I have not been doing that right for a while now. Um, you know what? It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, come back, Zap Waps. Come back, Zap Waps. Come on. Come on now. Don't, don't be, don't be like this. Don't treat me like that, Zap Waps. Okay, we've got a long-standing relationship of you leading the way. Don't follow. I'm definitely not the man to follow. And we're in orbit. Okay, now where's where's Tata Tata uh, Tanya Ta Tatiana? That's Ronnie's scrap. We need to knock that down someday. And there's Nata Tata Tata's heap. Um, at 82 kilometers. Cool. Can do that. Probably already did on accident. Yeah, nearly. Wow, we couldn't have come up at a uh, worse possible time, could we? Be on the exact other side of the planet and have to wait for her to get closer. Gee, this is this is good. Okay, so that would get us near to her in a big frickin' hurry, but uh, that would also cost almost 500 delta V. So let's not do that. Instead, let's let her come to us over the course of a much longer span of time. I've got the maneuver node in the same place, but what I've done is reduced the amount of delta V by about a third. By about... by... Uh, by about a third. I figure we go around the planet three times, and she's right there where we wanted her to be. And it only costs us 120 delta V instead of the other, which sucked. Oh, by the way, since we're out in space, why don't we open this thingy up? and point it at the, uh, cause I do have a, a thing here. A solar panel! Let's point that at the sun. Usually works better when it's, uh, when it's facing a stellar object emitting photonic radiation. Yeah, that's how I want to say that. Good morning, everyone! It's time to leave for our node. In 3, 2, 1, go! There we go. There we go. That's nice. Like that. Yep, liking it. Loving it. Oh, it's, it's looking good. That's sweet. That is some sweet go juice. There you- okay, screwed it up. It's fine. We're close. Here's Natatata's heap, and here's the Mooner Nuber Lander. So in three revolutions, we should catch up to her somewhat, to some degree, right? That's how maths work, isn't it? That's how science go. Delta V-ish. All with your- your trigger- trigger- Trigulous. That's a thing, in it? Okay, pretty sure that's, that's, we're at more than three revolutions. Okay, so you can't just divide your Delta V by two and carry the three and end up with a, the encounter. It's okay, we're getting closer to her. Come on, Natata. Be a pilot. Be a pilot. Be a pilot. Or a scientist. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna be level zero. You're not gonna be able to help at all. Have a flag in your pocket. Have a flag in your pocket. There she is. There we is. Once more around the blue ball. That's that's not what I meant. God, you guys. <laughs> Quickly, Pawn. Quickly. Play with your maneuvers. Play with your maneuvers. That also is not what I meant. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, hello. Time to burn. Time to burn. Time to burn faster. Time to burn faster. Okay. Just need to get close to her. Just need to get relatively sort of close to her. I think we've done it. Our encounter at our next revolution will be 5.2 kilometers. We can do this. We can do this, people. Aha. Aha. With a little little adjustment from the thingamajigger with the inclinations, we can get to 0.4 kilometers. She can just float over. Um, we'll have to slow down. Somebody will- she might have to speed up. Something will have to happen at that point, but first we do this. Time warp complete! Somehow. We're on the wrong side. Oh, screw it. Maybe it's right. Oh no, there we are. I got too many little blips out here. I don't know who's- okay, Ronnie, you're over there. Natata's over here, and we're just playing with our Tatas up here. Prepare for burn in three, two, 
What? You're, you're already burning. Yeah, I know. What? You got a problem with that? You have a problem with me burning right now? Because I don't have a problem with it. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got you. Natata, come here. Come here, Natata. Show me, show me your Akuma Natata. 0.3 kilometers away at the nearest intersect. We got you, Natata. Where are you? Show me, show me. There you are. Hi, Natata. How you doing? You doing good? You look, is that a new Corona? You're, that's, that joke doesn't apply there. Good morning, Natata. The sun hasn't come up yet, but good morning. Good morning, Natata. Natata Kerman, get out. Get out, find the thing. Find that you need to target me. You need to target me so you can see me, or do you see me? Do you, do you see me? There you see me. Okay, go catch me, go catch me. Go catch me, go get me. Come on, there you go. Just chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it. I know it's passing, but just, you'll catch up to it eventually. You got a lot of RCS in there, in there, those jets probably, Natata. What, what's going on? Come on, Natata, get closer. Closer, Natata. What, um, this might not be, I might have to slow the ship down for you to, to catch up. Listen, it's the speed at which we're going away is getting better. Yeah, Natata, you got this. Beautiful, Natata. We didn't even have to spend any more Delta V. You're doing great work for us, Natata. Oh, and I love that you've chosen the orange for the, for your hair. They're all the same, aren't they? You've chosen the orange. It's beautiful. It's be and you're beautiful. Close your mouth, though. You know, boys don't like the mouth breathers. Well, what happened? What happened? I turned physics warp off and suddenly the ship just decided it wanted to be over there. It's fine, Natata, welcome to your ship, okay? This is the Mooner Noober Lander, and no, we weren't we weren't talking about you in terms of being a noob, okay? That was, um, that was me, because I destroyed a $36,000 vessel um, on the launch pad because I forgot to check the TWR atmospherically. Well, you happen to be over here, though. Would you mind taking the data out of that thing? And I believe out of this thing, and then we can get more things out of it. Oh, Natata, you're an old hand at this. I don't know why they took your driver's license away, because you are just great. Um, I don't even know what kind of a Kerbal you are. Are you a scientist? Are you a pilot? Who, wh what's your deal? How do I find out? Who do I have to call in order to find out you did it? Houston! Houston, what's, what's Natata? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, hang on, let me just, let me just check for you. Uh, says here, Natata Kerman is a pilot, actually. Oh, excellent! Perfect! Just what we needed! Uh, also says she enjoys long walks on the beach, uh, uh, reading a good book, and poning noobs at COD. Ooh, Call of Duty fan. Uh, you know what? I'll work with her. I'll work with her. Thanks, Houston. Well, Natata, nice to find out that you're skilled in the arts of pl 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 uh, science gathering because we need another atmospheric pressure scan. There seems to be a distinct lack of atmosphere up here, well in space near Kerbin. Yeah, Natata could tell you, she was just out there sniffing it. And since we got that, we will now go through the, um, cause wholly unnecessary process. Don't know why this is still a thing that you have to do in KSP, but I'm um, just gonna grab the frickin' data out of this thing over and over. There's your target, Tatiana. Ta ta what's your name again? There's your target, the moon. Now use all of your piloting skills to get us there. Which I mean none, because you're level zero. Those are, those are my knuckles. That was me popping my knuckles. All of them.